Sarah Moore Groover checked her bank account. She only had $20 to get through the rest of the week. Her three children prayed that she might find a little more money for them to have ice cream. Then an envelope appeared. Groover served as the matriarch of her family, which she had built relatively quickly. She gave birth to three kids, two boys and one girl, in less than five years, having undergone fertility treatments for a couple of years to make motherhood possible. But she wasn't just a mom. Groover pursued seemingly disparate interests in her career and personal life. She worked as a paramedic, but she also studied philosophy, human resources and creative writing at Houghton College. And although she described herself on Facebook as a tired mom of three amazing kids and a paramedic, Groover found time to continue writing too. On August 28, 2017, she shared a personal story that would eventually go viral. Groover began her story by admitting to her Facebook friends that she only had $20. Bills are paid and food is bought, but there just wasn't much left over this week, she wrote. Be that as it may, it hadn't been a big deal until her children made a request and they put their plea to mom in no uncertain terms. On the way home from grocery shopping today, my kids begged for ice cream. Begged. Cried real tears. All the drama, she wrote. Knowing her financial limitations for the seven days ahead, Groover said no. On top of that, the mom of three told her little ones they had plenty of good food at home. We don't need to stop at the ice cream store. That didn't prevent her sons and daughter from asking once again, but this time they requested ice cream from a higher power. Indeed, Groover recalled that they beseeched the divine being. She said, I heard little sighs from the back seat and then, God, we'd really love some ice cream. Is there any way you can give mommy some money so we can get some ice cream tonight? We know you can. Thank you. At that point, their mom reminded them that, as she wrote, God was busy with natural disasters. Just three days before her Facebook post, Hurricane Harvey had hit Texas and it had been the strongest storm to have hit the Lone Star State in more than half a century. Moreover, Groover wrote, God isn't going to drop money on our doorstep so I can get you ice cream. But her son Josh responded as if he had heard directly from a higher power after making his prayer from the back seat. His mom recalled what had happened. She wrote, Nope, Josh said, God said you'll have plenty of money for ice cream and to give some to the natural disaster people. Knowing that she only had $20 in her bank account, Groover knew that this wasn't going to happen. Josh, it doesn't work that way. I started and then gave up, she wrote. But little did she know her mind was about to change. When she and her kids got home, the day's mail was waiting for them on their doorstep. As Groover leafed through the stack, she found an unexpected envelope. Even more surprising was what she found inside of it. As it turned out, the small paper parcel was an answer to the prayer that her son had made in the car. Next, Groover wrote, in the envelope was a check for $123 from an overpayment on a student loan I paid off in 2007. The additional padding to her bank account meant that her kiddos would be able to enjoy the sweet treat that they were craving. But her son's premonition also had included extra cash left over to give to charity, and in due course, that came true too. Groover wrote, they got ice cream, the Red Cross got a donation, the kids were not surprised. For Groover, the unexpected windfall and her children's optimism had taught her an important lesson. She wrote, Mom remembered yet again what it means to have the faith of a child. With that final line, she finished her post and at last shared the story via Facebook. Groover had no idea what would happen next. Her post went viral. Her story garnered 62,000 reactions and more than 34,000 shares. The mom of three was shocked by its mass appeal. This post has gone viral. Craziness, she wrote. I never expected this post to go past my private circle of friends, but I'm glad everyone's blessed. Keep the faith always, she advised everyone who read her story. Inspired by Groover's experience, others shared similar stories from their own lives in the comment section of her original post. Facebook user Lydia Curran wrote about her childhood when she and her siblings wished that they could have an at-home Sunday bar. After they had described all the toppings that they'd wanted, but their family hadn't been able to afford, a family friend knocked on the door and hand-delivered ice cream and Sunday toppings to them because she was thinking of the family. Both this inspiring comment and Groover's initial post fulfilled the mom of three's mission in her sharing her story in the first place. I wrote it simply to spread some faith and hope in a world that can be so dark some days. 
and I believe that's what my words are doing, she said. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.